lot of scrap lumber as you can see we don't use nothing special we just get some scrap lumber to use them uh, for in a here again in our home lake here on Burn River Lake it's a flood water reservoir so they type the water level up and down throughout the year uh, we have a winter pool and a summer pool so these boxes will be underwater for part of the year then they'll be out of water so they're going to rot and they're going to deteriorate and they're going to have to be redone so we don't ever use no special lumber or anything. Uh, if your home lake or lake you're fishing is a lake that, that, it, that is not a reservoir where the water stays at a uh, consistent level all year, you can build one of these boxes and it'll probably last you for a long time. Uh, it won't last quite as long in our, our home lake. But uh, I've got about a, I don't know, close to a four foot board here for the back. We've got about five foot sides and then we just got us a little board up here in the front about 18 inches long and that's where our open so we're going to put our, our back, our sides, and our front together. And we're going to flip it over and we're going to use these old boards. We've got some old, actually some old tongue and groove flooring here. And uh, we're going to use that for our top. So here we go. We're going to get started on building this, this catfish house. All right, so as you can see, again, we'll put about a four foot wide back, about five foot long on each side, about 18 inches across the front, and then we just put our boards across the top. As you can see, some of them overhang. Uh, we did cut this side off pretty good, but there's some overhang back there. It don't matter. It doesn't matter about how square it is. It's going in the lake for a catfish to go under. And there's a reason we make this shape. As I lay it down here, uh, I have to, I'll back it up here where y'all, you guys can see. The reason to make this shape kind of at a triangle shape is, if it was square, if it was square, you come out here, and then you just put a hole in the center, you would have corners you couldn't reach in. With this shape here, no matter what, when we reach up in there, you'll be able to fill the whole box. It's just a natural shape from go in. The fish is gonna get back in here, back in this area, under there, and that's where they're gonna make their bed. What these boxes are really ideal for is somewhere over in the lake, you can't find no big flat rock to build them out of. But maybe you see it, it has a good sandy bottom or something. It's a good place to put a box. So, we built this one. As you see, we got more lumber, we can build more. Typically, we build most of our pines out of rock. We like the more natural rock. And the reason I built this at home, I didn't build it over to the lake. I'm not even going to take it to the lake right now. Because if I take this to the lake right now, while it's down at Winter Pool, everybody that's on the lake right now sees my box up there on the bank. They know where my hide is. Somebody for sure is going to go fish it. So I'm going to wait till it gets closer to the noodling season. Once the water's back up, then I'm going to take it over and then I'm going to sink it in the water when nobody can see it. Uh, you know, it's going to happen. Somebody's going to fish your hides. There ain't no need getting mad about it. It's just aggravating that, you know, again, like I said in the last video, you got guys that aren't willing to put in the work in the wintertime, but they want to fish your hides in the summertime. But this is always a good way to go. If you don't have a lot of rock, maybe you don't want to go over and 
tub on a bunch of rock. It's hard work. But these boxes will produce fish. I like the more natural rock hides a lot better. I've seen them catch a lot bigger fish, a lot better fish out of them. Once we take the box over and we put it in the water, we're going to stack big rock all over top of it to hold it down, to hold it in place. It's just a couple more options uh, when you're building noodling hides, catfish noodling hides, other than building them out of rock. Again, my, prefer my preference is rock. I've been noodling, this is 2020, I've been noodling since 1990, caught a lot of fish. I love noodling, but I love noodling under big flat rock. That's where I catch my biggest fish. I hope y'all uh, like the content of the day. Uh, if you like it, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Uh, again, we can't do this without you guys. Another blessed day here on this earth. Uh, thank y'all again for watching. God bless. Alright, so we just got through building these noodling boxes. Uh, we're not going to put them out today or anything. Like I said, we're going to probably wait till the water starts coming up. Then we're going to go put them out. We done done a close the video. But as I went in the house to look at some of it over, my kids are about to die for me to do this one chip challenge. And I told them the only way I'm doing the one chip challenge is if I get to 200 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm challenging you guys, tell all your friends and get us the subscribers so they you can get a kick out of it. We'll, we'll video it and uh, they can get a kick out of it too. As a matter of fact, since my kids are the ones want me to do it so bad, my oldest son's gonna do it with me. We'll buy another one of them Hey, we get to 200 subscribers. I'll eat one, he'll eat one, and we'll see who can last the longest without taking a drink of water. Hey, um, while I'm talking to you, just to let you know, if there's ever anything in the outdoors you'd like to see, drop us a line, let us know. Hey, we love all things outdoors. It's God, family, and the great outdoors. Thanks for watching. God bless.